This is huge for Iowa. Penn State obviously has already locked up the team championship. Oklahoma State has guaranteed itself a podium finish in the top four. But Virginia Tech is in third. Iowa is down to Virginia Tech by one point, and this is their final championship participant. If Iowa doesn't win this match, they are in danger of not finishing in the top four. Rutherford, the redshirt sophomore out of Benton, Pennsylvania. Four matches, four bonus point victories, back to back to back falls in the last three matches. And right in on that leg of Sorensen. Neutral. Trying to cut that corner. There's a tip. Rutherford, you see, hard snap on the head, went for that high C, switched out to the double, and he cut the corner hard. Right away, he was driving all the way through, put Sorensen right on his hip. These are two outstanding wrestlers. They've separated themselves from the rest of the field, and then Rutherford's gone to another level of outstanding. Sorensen, I'm sure the coaches you know, worked on adjusting. He's just got to get out right here. This is such an important place for him. Zane Rutherford, nobody's been able to sustain his pace all year. He keeps a high pace throughout the entire match. Rutherford redshirted last year, all part of the Kale Sanderson plan to reload for a national title run this year. He was an All-American as a true freshman at 141 pounds. Remember, he had a win against Logan Steber as a freshman, so that opened up a lot of eyes, and people thought, hey, this kid's really worth something. Red shirts last year, he was wrestling unattached during his red shirt year. He was wrestling at 65 kilograms in international competition during the Dave Schultz Memorial. It was one of the best stories we heard all season long. He got punched by a Russian opponent that was not happy with how Rutherford was handling him during the match. And Rutherford is one of the nicest guys on the Penn State team. His teammates rave about how good and unassuming on, guys, of a guy he is. He just laughed it off and said, oh, I guess he wasn't very happy. Quinn Kastner can add in on Rutherford. Yeah, I, I spoke to him on Wednesday. He's always been a tremendous technical and tactical wrestler. The difference from his redshirt season to now is physically. He, he's like looking at a different athlete in terms of the power that, that he brings to the table now. His quads are bigger, his shoulders, his back. Uh, he's got brute strength now okay, to go with that I'll great technique, and, and that was the biggest benefit of the, of the redshirt season. And you talked about it, Tim. He's a hammer on top, so this is such an important part of this match with Sorensen on the bottom. He gets tagged with a caution because he went a little bit too fast to try to get away from a guy who's been so good on top this year. He really is, and Sorensen needs to get those hands down there, not let those that leg in, and Rutherford gets the boots in no matter what. Improve it, gentlemen. Improve. Improve your position. This is important right Improve here before the end of the first period for Sorensen to be able to Improve get that hand fight, get the hand control, and get away. Right there. For neutral nice green by Sorensen. Center. He had to have that. I really like how Swanson right there, he chained his escapes together. You see right away he went for the stand-up position, wasn't really getting it, so he turned his hips right into him. That's what you got to do against those tough top guys. You got to chain your escapes together because the first one's not always going to work. Swanson needs to get his hands on Rutherford before Rutherford shoots. Rutherford, tremendous shot. He keeps coming up, gets the hips to the party, drives through. Catch him, gets the Very, very technically savvy is Zane Rutherford to take a 4-1 lead. That was textbook there by Rutherford, and he's got my attention since he has changed. He, I mean, he was good as a freshman two years ago, but he is a completely different wrestler. Body, technique, power, strength, but the thing that really impresses me is his pace that just people can't keep up with. Right here, looked like it was stuffed initially, but he just did a great job getting to his feet, driving through. He really pulled that leg in hard, cracked him down to a hip here, and covered up for two points. It's a nice job of not only following, but following through with that shot. Scott Hall is our lead official, gets the second period underway. One thing I recognize about Rutherford is. He gets guys tired, line. but he's not trying to wrestle to get guys tired. He's just scoring points, and that gets guys tired. And so it's, you know, it's Kale Sanderson's system, you know, score points and uh, keep the pace up and have fun. And what happens is guys get worn out and they get tired. But there's a patience involved here by Rutherford as well, and that's a very important part of the system. Yeah, he's not overly aggressive. 
in terms of trying to get points. He just gets points as matches go on. 29 bonus point wins for Rutherford this year out of his 33. Only his teammate at 157, Jason Nolf, had more bonus point wins in the country. Nolf had 31 to Rutherford's 29. Got back up to his feet there, Anthony. Same thing right there, Redford on that shot. Sorensen did that shot. Redford just so powerful. He gets that leg and right away he's driving on his feet to finish. Sorensen has some height, some length on him, so it's important for those legs of Rutherford to be strong. And twice, as you mentioned, on takedowns, he's been able to drive back up to his feet and then drive forward and down. Yeah, he just does an excellent job of just getting off those knees. He doesn't stay on his knees, he's penetrating through. And I've really been impressed with how he's just snapping that head around, looking for those shots constantly. You see the standings right now. Remember, Ohio State still has a couple of guys in Miles thing, Martin and Kyle Snyder way. going. Top four means you're going to podium, and Iowa has exactly. one guy remaining. That's the guy wrestling right now in Brandon Sorensen. Iowa needs to win this match to have uh, a shot at getting on the podium this year in the top four. One thing about Rutherford, he is stingy. He doesn't like to give anything, he, and he's always going 100 percent on every point, every takedown. But right here, that's why Sorensen's escape was so important earlier because he earned it. Rutherford's not giving him anything, and so Sorensen has to replicate that again to get back in this match. I was going to say, Anthony, can he chain it together again? He's on his feet. Can he get the boots out, and then can he get the hips out? That's much easier said than done. Oh, it definitely is. You see, Rutherford, he had that leg on the right side. Sorensen, for a while, he was holding on to that. That ankle. He was kind of pulling up to his belly button area. Really, that helps right. Rutherford out. It's, it's basically like you're putting a seatbelt exactly. on yourself down there. Yeah. You want to use the opposite hand, peel it off to the side there, but instead he was cinching it up, trying to go for a different angle, I guess, different position. And now this is where Rutherford is so good. We said it, he's a hammer on top. He's accumulated almost three minutes of lining time in this match. We're going to see his teammate, Jason Nolf, coming up in one of the more anticipated matches of this NCAA tournament. Nolf versus Isaiah Martinez, round three. I want to talk about two exciting offensive wrestlers who've had two really good matches this year. We're going to see it coming up So 157. Sorensen chose neutral, and you see him trying to get his hands on. He's got to get his hands on. But uh, it bears repeating. These are the two best wrestlers in the nation at 149. I mean, there's just no doubt. They're both outstanding. And there's a separation right now between number one and number two. But these are the two best by far. Gonna get in on the double that time. Good sprawl by Sorensen. And again, you see Scott Hall, the official, See him kind of waving his arms. He said, hey, you got to continue action here. Otherwise, the stall calls are going to be coming. We talked about Kale Sanderson's system. Rutherford redshirting last year. Another reason is leadership. Kale Sanderson really wanted him to be with the young guns for three years. So coachable. Just as he's a leader in the room without saying too much. But man, his strength, his pace, his conditioning. Incredible. Redford, he's really doing an excellent job at the time. So that's what he's doing. He's posted with the left hand, left hand on the forehead of Sorensen. And right away, he's going for that collar tie on the right side, snapping him down, and he's shooting in. He's just constantly looking for those attacks. Really frustrating Sorensen here. Because Sorensen, he can't just, he can't dominate in those tie-ups. Rutherford is controlling everything. So almost 14 minutes of wrestling between these two this season and one point for Sorensen against Rutherford. He has been on that head the entire match when they've been on their feet. Continuing the offense. Still trying to take down the takedown, and he will. That's going to be another bonus point victory. That's how he keeps racking them up. He continues the offense, and Penn State continues the onslaught. Another national title for the Nittany Lions. Coming off his first Big Ten title, now he's got his first national championship. Let's go to Quinn. 
Zane, congratulations. Pre-match, what was the last thing that Coach Kale Sanderson told you? Be yourself and have some fun. How do you best describe the pace that you were able to wrestle? You know, just by doing what, I'm, what Coach said, being myself and having fun, that's the pace I like to have. I like to keep when I'm having fun. That's what I did. Outside you and, and the coaching staff, who is most responsible for, for this moment right now? Who would you like to thank? My family. Uh, made a lot of sacrifices over the years. I like thank them, my coaches I've had over the years, my teammates, and my friends and family. Enjoy it, team. <laughs> Thanks very much, Quinn. 130 wins at Benton High School, was a two-time Pennsylvania State Champion in 2013. Won a world championship on the freestyle circuit. He's been a champ everywhere he's gone, and now he's an NCAA champion.